Oh, he's got. That, they feel great about that. He can do it all. Ooh, ooh. Man. <laughs> That's some freaky stuff. Strike one. Somebody near Yasiel. That's the place. Oh, wow. Got a mouthful of the bat that time. Get on the ground. Correa. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm not even sure how you think about trying to do that. That was amazing. Sure. List today. A loud one with a big fly to left. Hug. Than the other D. Ah, there it is. Wow, <laughs> that was awesome. In the third, and now he's picked off. The throw gets away. Adam stays alive as Mauer flipped it to no. Cut a little tapper foul. Right off to my <laughs> dome. <laughs> he does things that other people can't do on the field, and that's one of them. That surprised him too. Um, a nightly ritual in the Pirates dugout changes every night though tonight's the limbo from Jay Hay. Of course McCutcheon on center stage. It's a different dance tonight. Hopefully this one. And that gets away. That's going to bounce to Shaw. Good back up there and a very fortunate bounce. I mean, looking at his belt. Here comes the baseball oh and it's my gosh. really fortunate that that throw wasn't right at him. What is drilled him somewhere yeah, this is sister Mary Jo who is going to throw out the first pitch but with a little added extra look at this thing. a pretty good job of it throws it in the zone took something off it on the pitch there because she wanted to show her impressive movement and now to lead it up left hand hitter and he hits the first pitch high and deep to left back goes McCutcheon on the track McCutcheon falls down and the ball is off the wall McCutcheon fires in. I'm telling you, this is the weird um, lower than the yellow barrier, the home run barrier, and it becomes a double. And now for something completely different. Sit down, she says. <laughs> Sit down now. You're embarrassing me. You thought he was having a bonding moment. Works. Well, oh, Therese has a new camera. <laughs> Reporters anxiously awaiting. <laughs> <laughs> and Contreras sits it on the ground to Arenado, who applies the tag. That's a Chicago Bears tackle. <laughs> so Arenado applies the tag and then tried to brace himself and gets wrapped up in the. She needs to tighten it up a little bit, huh? So, boy, he's going to let Orbit do some work. Boy. I think Orbit's as surprised as I am. Oh, off the top. <laughs> How about the English on that one? And Dietrich is going to reach. That ball started three. White thing right there. It hit it. I'm telling you. Some pregame hijinks involving <laughs> the mascot and quick footed and quick slugging and good feet Ichiro gets in gets out <laughs> tell you what he look at that a little reverse move guys in the dugout his first time and he's hit by a pitch and the ball ricochets and hits weeders get everybody one two three wow that's a spare I don't know. Chris back on the mound. First ball swinging. Roll to third. Mustaka's gloves. Throw to first is low. Gets by. Gets off the turf. Garcia's coming home. He falls down. Kratz can't find him. Now he tags him out to end the inning. Right. Are you what are we doing? We're, we're, we're feeding a fossil? Yes. I've never seen romper room at the ballpark. <laughs> there it is. What? Yeah. What? What is that? It, it doesn't look like any dinosaur that I I've seen. It looks like. There's a butt. 
Ostadio fires to third. They get the fourth play. Good play, and Ostadio ends up. And Ostadio came out of the catcher's box and made a nice play to get the force at third. <laughs> that was a promotion, and the queen has arrived. Yeah, long live the queen. No. The queen almost face planted. The, the, the queen almost lost her tiara. <laughs> I had no idea the queen was making an appearance here in Denver. We tell that story, the nickname behind Josh Bell. Stance too much. My guess is he caught that ball with a baby in his arms. Tinker Bell is something that we don't want you to be anymore. 2 1, rip to left field. Embrace that. Here. Hard to believe at 39 years old, he still has that kind of power and the damage that he can do as the head rubs begin. <laughs> you start to celebrate. It's just bad karma. You know, I think that uh, we're still looking at that and Banny's still looking at that. First things first, we want to make sure Adrian gets through this, this stretch, but assuming that he does. And so now suddenly you're a bench player, you got a pinch hit. Different world for him, and sometimes the, the adjustment is a little tougher. No way! <laughs> that is classic! <laughs> what you just saw right there is why that young man's hands are so good. Tried to drop, drop that piece of gum and couldn't do it. We should not be surprised. We're seeing it right now in the Super Bowl. Boom. Look at that. Came out, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes ago. <laughs> Bryce got out the rake, and then he would reach into the bag of turfus, and it kind of looked yeah. like he was feeding the birds at the public park. But Bryce gave us a little comic relief a few minutes watch. ago. He, he says, watch, we're ready. <laughs> now, this was an inning or so ago. Uh, Joey Votto decided he wanted to exchange shirts with one of the Reds fans here. And there you see him giving his jersey for a t-shirt. It's a great story, guys. This man always has fun at the ballpark, cheering on his teammates. He's fun to watch when he's pitching. He's smiling, joking around. He's energy with this club. Like we said, he's really mature. Pitch to Reddick. And Josh lines this one in the left field. Racing back is Martini, and he leaps, and he drops the ball. Reddick's going to reach. And now he's going to head to second on the overthrow. And now the ball doesn't realize it. And now he's going to head to third. What a strange way for Reddick to. The last Braves hit was oh. Andrews' third inning single. Oh, that ball came off the screen and hit Ozzy in the head. <laughs> Plunk. Two. I'll be to third base. Sano now has Sanchez caught up. Throw is high home. Now there are two guys at third base. And what are the Sox going to do here? <laughs> That's They're going to get out of it. Honestly, is what it is. Double in the first and four and six singles. There's a little excuse me on a ball that was in the dirt. <laughs> That's crazy. It took a great play from Alex Bregman to get D. Gordon, who can fly. He almost turned that into a hit. There's a chance at his first big league hit, but he's thrown out. Polanco throws him out. Here we go. He's guessing fastball, 3-2 count. He got it. There's the base hit. No, maybe not. Floro taking his time, now set, and steps off. And it's a balk. A balk is called. A balk is called. And that's the ball game. It's a walk-off balk. Valley saw it for yeah, we saw Justin Turner make a quick move over towards third base. That one is driven to left field, giving Chase Robinson on the run, and it's going to be off the base of the wall. Wendell scores. Bowers going to third, and he is still no call. I don't think he touched third. He's tagged. Cesar Bunce, Deakman Fields, throws low, right on by Goldschmidt. And Cesar will get to second base. He's going to be waved to third. The throw to third is way over the head of Escobar. And Cesar will be awarded. Fly ball, left field struck pretty well. John Jay going back at the wall. He will not make the kick. Oh. Oops. Uh-huh. I think we have oh an boy. issue. 
Yeah, we do. And Carlos Gomez is hit by that pitch. <laughs> Can you there. believe that? The American League. Holy Moses. Let's go back to and swing at what you want to swing at. No, 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 no. Well, Gomez is saying that that hit him, but Chris Siegel, the home plate umpire, says that was a foul ball. To the naked eye, looked to me like he.